Ambassador He Yafei is one of China's foremost diplomats. He served as permanent representative to the United Nations in Geneva and as vice foreign minister in Beijing. He's very much a figure who continues to bridge China to the heart of global affairs, and that is why I wanted to engage him on his important thoughts at this time. Uh, we were a little surprised by what what had happened in Wuhan, but not so much so that we feel it's a national crisis, as if when our life stopped. I think the lessons we should have, uh, we should learn from this epidemic, SCP happening in China, and uh, you know those happened in the past. And certainly, they are going to happen in the future elsewhere, or even in China. You know, uh, virus is something uh, humankind so far has not been able to to to. To completely eliminate, we need to get prepared. We need to learn more about virus. Lots of R and D should be put into that. You know, international community put a lot of efforts,、uh, money, equipment into you know, how we can prevent war. But we haven't paid enough attention to life-threatening viruses. Why have we failed to learn from? The Spanish influenza, from the、uh, Ebola, from MERS. Where have we gone wrong as a world? In a way, we have been complacent with the advance of medicine and technology. We believe, you know, everything is curable, which is not true. On the one hand, we should continue to fight the virus with whatever resource we have. On the on, on the other hand, we need to also. I、uh, think in this highly interconnected world of globalization, when Chinese economy is hurt, it can also have spillover effects to other countries because China is right in the middle of the global supply chain, global production chain. Car makers, they cannot really, you know, fulfill. Their production quota because the supplies components not being、uh, produced adequately in China、uh, for apples too. So this is a globalized world, and we need global efforts. I spoke to one economist who says that international travel restrictions will end up hurting themselves. That's true. That's very much true, but not overreact. To the point that, that you will cut off international travel. If you cut off international travel, certainly you will cut off international trade. But what is more important, more threatening to humankind, is you know non-traditional threats like viruses, especially for public health. Global public health is extremely important. So I think we need to look at this issue from a global governance. Perspective, we need to strengthen global governance not only economically to look for a better economic growth model, but I think we need to look more carefully and spend more time on global health governance. The China Current continues its special coverage on the coronavirus outbreak. Go to our social media at the China Current and our website for interviews, videos, and podcasts. I'm James Chow. Thank you.